So what we are doing is to do a standard particle inspection. We're looking for particles in the vials, and these vials, some of them are blank with no particles. Some of them we have put glass particles or plastic particles or fibers in in order to show the students what these kinds of particles will look like under this standard inspection condition. So we have a diffuse light coming from above and then we move the vial so that we get particles to move against the background, which makes them easier to see. And we look for five seconds against a black background and then we agitate and look for five seconds against a white background. So we can see both light and dark colored particles against this standard inspection. And we do this for an entire set of vials. We have some that we have prepared that are easier for the students to see so they can start with something easy to see and then we work for more difficult. And then from that, they can go ahead and learn how different particles look and discriminate against, say, air bubbles if they're having difficulty with the agitation. And you can see some air bubbles here. I find the, the practical part very interesting um, because you really experience how hard it actually is to inspect. I will be the responsible person for visual inspection in our company and that's why I have just started. Uh, I have been working for two months and this is a really good opportunity to learn the basic, basic things about the visual inspection. That's why. <laughs> I think the benefit for pharmaceutical companies will be uh, to gain, as I said, a good understanding of the regulations and to see what kind of harmonised approach that has been taken across all the different industries and different companies in the area of visual inspection. I expected to learn a little bit about uh, the regulatory uh, changes and what's going to come up and for us to be able to further our uh, process and kind of look ahead in that respect as well. I think it's an area, and it really comes out of some early collaboration with uh, Gerrit Rusling and Marcus and the formation of the Visual Inspection Forum, which is a conference on visual inspection. And after a number of those forum meetings, it became very clear that there was a need for some kind of training. We heard the same questions come up many times. There were new people to the field of visual inspection, as well as um, really an, a much misunderstood in this area. And so it was really an opportunity, a growth out of the forum to develop this training course for people because it's a topic that you can't go to a book or to a scientific journal. The things that we're looking for during the inspection process are things like particulate matter or foreign material that might be inside the vial. We're also looking at the integrity of the container, any cracks or leaks that might allow external contamination to get inside a sterile drug product. And then finally, during this inspection, we also get the opportunity to take out a number of cosmetic defects, things that don't look nice like scratches or other things on the outside of the container. And so it's very important that the students understand the full range of defects that they're looking for. Well, I enjoy um really talking to the people, uh, having the, the direct feedback to the small group yeah. of uh, people. And so uh, that helps us pretty much to improve uh, always the course. In terms of what students will learn, 
we start from the very beginning and answer the question, why do we inspect? And there are some regulatory reasons why we inspect, because we have to inspect. We certainly are concerned about patient safety and product quality, another good reason to inspect. And finally, some good business practices to understand our manufacturing processes. I think actually that's one of the strengths of the course, that in any given course, we have the opportunity and the exposure to a broad range of different backgrounds and interests. Um, and really not one single area that I would say stands out as the principal uh, participants in the course.